Let's go, let's go. This is an outdoor or treadmill running and boxing workout for all levels. You're gonna run at seven miles an hour on the treadmill at 2% incline for 400 meters, which will take about two minutes and six seconds. We do boxing, core, build up boxing sets. You will love the way you feel after the end of this workout. It's about empowering you to be the best version of yourself in these workouts. Running to station number one, seven miles an hour, 2% incline, which is going down. Right now, let's put in work. Let's go, let's go. You are now getting ready to run at seven miles an hour, 2% incline. Let's get into it. If you're running outside, I always encourage you to run through trails, to run through areas that you haven't been to before. Don't get lost. Take it all in, get out with nature. If you're on your treadmill, put your setting to the track setting and know that you are running 400 meters at seven miles an hour at 2% incline. When you're running, relax your shoulders. Make sure you don't hold tension in your hands. Don't drag your feet. When you see a hill on screen, work a little harder to get up that hill. You can change the incline on your treadmill. Running downhill a little bit, coming to your first bridge. We're gonna hit this, take a right-hand turn. Keep going guys, you got this. You know that if you're running through the woods and you see people ahead of you, let them know what side you're running on, especially if they have animals. Just a little quick tip, pro tip for you guys. 100 meters to go before circuit number one of boxing. Again, if you're outside, find your nice clearing. This is a beautiful area. Blessed to be able to run through it and find it. We're going to be working boxing combinations five times one minute set in 10 seconds. Push pause on your treadmill. Get ready to throw boxing combinations. So make sure your treadmill comes to a complete stop. Get off, put your shadow boxing gloves on if you have them. And let's get ready for your first boxing circuit. A one, six, three, two, cover. One, six, three, two, cover. Let's go. Jab, rear uppercut, lead hook, cross, cover. Breathe, move, keep working. One, six, three, two, cover, and move. One, six, three, two, cover, and move. Anytime, anywhere, let those hands go. You're adding an extra head movement as long as it's controlled and precise and has meaning. Pick up that speed a little bit before we move to your next combo. 10 seconds. One, six, three, two, cover. Yeah, I like that. Two, one. Next combination is a double jab, overhand right, a one. One, eight, one, one, eight. Fully extend the double jab, come over the top with the overhand right. Jab, jab, overhand right. That's what's incredible about shadow boxing. You can do it anywhere. It doesn't matter who's around. Get out in nature, throw your hands, run to an amazing place for you guys to work out and you will feel empowered and incredible. And you'll be proud of yourself for relieving stress and getting your workout in. Love it, 15 seconds, one, one, eight, movement. Advance on the double jab, throw the overhand right, then pivot. Five seconds, one, 
one eight move yes next combination combo three is a one five six three two one of my favorite combinations one uppercut uppercut hook cross let's go one five six three two one little shoe shine hook cross one five six three two throw with that speed if you have it in the tank little aerial drone action for you one five six three two and we will be doing a full series of these on elevated and memberships where you can use them and youtube memberships where you can use them directly for your treadmill they will be designed for your treadmill and outside 15 seconds As you know, I use the T50 treadmill from Matrix Fitness. I love it. One, five, six, three, two. Next combination, two, five, two, two, slip. Cross, lead uppercut, cross, then slip twice. Let's go. Again, give me two slips that really change direction that change the axis you're changing the axis slipping two punches coming in two five two make them miss twice and then counter with another two five two constantly work 30 seconds two five two miss miss movement counter with the two five two that's it champions you got this get on your feet move a little A lot of bounce in your step outside. A lot of times you'll feel like you can move better outside. Funny how that works, huh? Next combination. Next combination, freestyle, let's go. Anything you want, champions. Come on, defense in there. Let your hands go freestyle it. Don't hold back on that. Look good, look fresh. Uppercuts, overhand rights, crosses, movement. 30 seconds. Defense, offense, movement, angle changes, slips, shoe shines, hooks to the body, yes. Let the crowd see you guys, let the crowd see you. Let the neighbors see you perform at your ultimate best. Working boxing in a running workout together. Let's go run to our next station. Jump on that treadmill or start to run 400 meters to station number two. Let's go. Seven miles an hour, 2% incline, 400 meters. We work. Just keep running. You're good. You're already on a mission. You're already rolling. Whatever trail you enter, whatever treadmill you're on, again, Matrix T50 treadmill is what I use. Get on it, push that track setting, and let's go for 400 meters. You should be out of breath, but you should still be able to control your treadmill. If you're outside, just go a little bit faster up those hills. Come on, guys. Breathe in a rhythm. Nice and relaxed. With running, we talk about energy leaks a lot. In other words, you wanna be a, a controlled machine. Don't waste energy by over-rotating your torso. By flexing muscles you don't need to use right now, although you use a lot of them. But stay calm, run it out. 200 meters to go. You are calm. You are ready, you're outside or you're inside on your tread, but you own this. In 150 meters, we will be doing a core set, five exercises. In this boxing and running workout that you can do anywhere.
In 100 meters, station number two, you will be doing core. Once again, in this boxing and running workout. Think about core activation, lots of fun movement patterns. And I'll be doing this on hot pavement. It's the will to work that gets the win. Fifteen meters. Three, push pause in your treadmill. Walk it out. There you go. Get ready for a jump off. If you're running through these woods or running, nice easy walk to your spot. Get ready for it. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, get ready to get the core to light up. I love this section of the path. Beautiful place to train, which will be a future housing development. Let's go guys, core work. We're gonna burn it out. Check this out. Get down to the floor in a plank position. You're gonna go a shoulder tap and a knee tap to the opposite side. Shoulder, knee, let's go. Shoulder, knee tap, shoulder tap, knee tap, shoulder, opposite knee. That's right, so your knee and hand are in a cross pattern. Come on guys, core is tight, pavement's hot. Get the core to feel the same way. Thirty seconds with some aerial footage. Yes, guys, come on, come on, ladies, get after it, fellas, put in work. Twenty seconds. My hands were on fire here. I don't care. We're here for a purpose. 10 seconds, shoulder, knee, shoulder, knee, core, on fire, bring it up, check this out, I want you to think about generating rotational force with your hands and a chop with two steps, boom, one, two, turn it, one, two, turn it, aggressively, let's go, you are holding a 10 pound axe, chop, let's go. Step, turn it, step, turn it. Beautiful work. I like the mobility piece and the flexibility piece as turning all the way through with your head rotation. 15 seconds. Get after it. Break it over. Three seconds. Two, one, beautiful. Down to the ground, guys. Watch. Walk over once, do one push up. Walk over once, one push up. So it's a lateral step with your feet and hands into one push up. Let's go. Push up, move to your left. Push up, move to your right. Push up, move to your left. Push up, let's go. This is not about speed, this is about control. Get through the set without stopping and constantly moving. If you have to hold a plank for a quick second, you can until the next time you do the workout, but you know what you have to accomplish then. 15 seconds. Don't look back at your toes. Look forward ahead of your fingers. Two, last push up. One, excellent work. Bring it up. We're gonna work some single leg pieces here now. So you're gonna do a reverse lunge with an elbow to knee drive. Left leg down, right knee to left elbow. Let's go guys, you gotta push through this one. Burn the quad, glute, and core with this. One minute per side, one minute per side. This will finish circuit number two once we get through both sides.
the shin on your lead leg that's cemented to the ground is driving straight through your foot and into the ground. Come on. If you have to reset, you can reset. Just get going. That's it. Three, two, one, switch right away. Right foot planted, left knee to right elbow. That right shin once again is straight through the floor, creating some stability or a little more stability. Flex the core as you bring up the knee. This is not a race, it's constant work. If you lose your balance, focus and get it back. It happens. Especially when they're burning like this. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Yes, fam. Come on. Four. Three, two, one. Circuit number two is done. Let's go for a jog. Back to your treadmill. Seven miles an hour, 2% incline, 400 meters. Let's work. Start running. If you're outside, let's get it. This should be your fastest set yet. Feel your shaky legs for a few steps and then work. Get up this hill. Again, if you're on your treadmill and you want to replicate this hill, you want to go about 3 or 4% more. So it's a 6% incline, 7 miles an hour. Still working up a hill, guys. Still working up this hill. Get up it. 315 meters to go. Still working this hill. Now you can go back down to 7 miles an hour, 2% incline. running downhill a little bit you guys nice and controlled when you're running downhill your stride should remain the same not big long strides keep it the same as if you're running uphill or on a flat surface two hundred meters halfway We're working circuit number three in less than a minute. And in circuit number three, you're gonna go through a continuous boxing set for five minutes, which means we will add combinations the entire time. You'll work a set of combos, and after a certain amount of time, you'll add in another punch or two. And we do that for your entire five minute set. Your goal is to make no mistakes. Follow me through. We're going to be there in about 80 meters or 25 seconds. And you're running a boxing workout. The Nate Bauer Fitness YouTube channel. Remember, these will be coming to you in a full series on Nate Bauer Elevated and Nate Bauer Fitness YouTube memberships. Join me there. In four seconds, push pause on the treadmill. Run to your spot to put in work when you're outside and let's go. Your third station, station number three, is a boxing buildup for five minutes. Start to move, start to get ready to throw your hands. Your first combination is coming up. Circuit number three. Treadmill is off. You're ready to go. You're bouncing on your toes. First combination right here. Let's go. Step left, five, duck right, two. 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 That's it. Step to your lead, lead side, come back with a duck, throw the cross. Step left, lead uppercut, duck right, cross. 
Yeah, there you go. You got it. We're just going to add combinations. We're going to add punches. Add a one, two, one, two. So it's a step left, five, duck right, two, jab, cross, jab, cross, work. Remember, we're just adding combinations, guys. We're going to do the same combo plus plus the entire time, no mistakes. Step left, five, duck right, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. Continue in a strong fight shape type pattern. You can advance on the one, two, one, two. You can retreat on the one, two, one, two. Change your angles. Out of five, six. One, two, one, two, five, six. Step left. Five, dock right. Two, one, two, one, two, five, six. So you added two uppercuts, the lead uppercut and the rear uppercut. Feeling fine. Let's go, you guys. As you throw, you can move. Step left, five, duck right, two. One, two, one, two, five, six, three, two now. So you added a lead hook, right hand. Step left, five, duck right, two. One, two, one, two, five, six, three, two. When your shoulders get tired, think of using more core. You think you make sure your breathing is doing what it's supposed to do. Working in rhythm. Don't hold your breath. Don't tighten up. At the rear uppercut, the six. Step left. Five. Duck right. Two. One, two, one, two. Five, six, three, two, six. Step left. Five. Duck right. Two. One, two, one, two, five, six, three, two, rear uppercut. Let's go. Step left, uppercut, duck right, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. Uppercut, uppercut, hook, cross, rear uppercut. One minute and 40 seconds. On your toes, warriors. Move those feet. No mistakes. We have a five minute boxing challenge coming up next on the channel where I challenge you to a five minute set just like this one. After the six now, you're gonna add another three, two. Rear uppercut, hook, cross, yes. Step left, uppercut, duck right, cross. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Uppercut, uppercut, hook, cross. Uppercut, hook, cross. That's a lot, but you can do it. You just add it on, another hook, cross. One minute. Remember, if you have to do this round twice, do it twice. You'll get it. Trust me. 45 seconds. Nice combination, guys. Working with the drone here. I love this. Now squat. One, two, one, two. Let's go. Squat. One, two, one, two. 30 seconds. One, two, one, two. Squat. One, two, one, two. Get it. If you want to add a little more flavor, jump. Squat, jump. One, two, one, two. Squat, jump. One, two, one, two. 10 seconds before we take off to go for another 400 meter run. All right, back to your treadmills. Seven miles an hour, 2% incline. Let's do your last 400 meters. Superstar status would be to go to eight miles an hour, 3% incline. 
All my people outside, let's go get it. Run a little faster, you can do this. Hills or no hills, pick up the speed. Pick up the speed, turn your feet over a little faster. Three hundred meters. You're taking the turn around that track. There's dirt coming up from beneath your feet. You're cutting through that path so hard. Come on, guys. Two hundred meters let's go push a little faster finish strong and remember if you want to continue this workout you can continue and go to station number one and repeat it you're going to the finish line first though in 130 meters 40 seconds In 100 meters, you have the option to, to stop or to turn around and go do it all again. 70 meters, 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Now what are you gonna do? Are you going to do it all again? You know what? Let's turn it around and do it all again. Sign up for memberships on the Nate Bauer Fitness YouTube channel. Join me for live streams. Fight Shape coming up very soon. We're taking the channel to the next level.